Hey guys, this is an updated instructional video on the use of the slider climbing system. The slider climbing system comes with three and a half foot daisy chains that will allow you to attach the slider system to any tree that's approximately four foot in circumference or less. Attach your daisy chain to your slider by girth hitching the daisy chain through the designated loophole on your slider climbing system. Once attached, pull tight. Repeat the process on the other side. To attach the slider climbing system to any tree larger than four foot in circumference, you'll need to add the three and a half foot daisy chain extensions. To attach the extensions, girth hitch the extension to the very last loop of the existing daisy chain, as such. To attach a slider to the tree, wrap your daisy chain around the tree and attach the closest loop onto the hook. For the initial setup, to stretch and adjust your slider, place your foot in one of the lower rungs and put your weight on it. This will stretch and adjust your slider. Repeat the process on the other side. Next, I'd like to show you how to attach your slider to a narrow or smooth bark tree in order for it to release properly. Wrap your daisy chain around the tree for a second wrap, going underneath your slider system. This will allow it to release properly. When releasing, the slider will fall away from the tree. When wrapping the daisy chain around the tree for the second wrap, if you go over the daisy chain, it will prevent it from releasing properly. When releasing, the daisy chain will get stuck on your slider. When using other methods such as climbing sticks with aiders, the standoff lifts the rungs off the tree, allowing excessive movement. With the top strap of the slider being attached directly to the tree, the slatter actually pulls your foot into the tree. When putting your feet in the rungs, hook the rung near the arch of your feet and pull it away from the tree. This will allow you to place your foot in the next step, giving you extra space. Continue to do that as you climb. When attaching the daisy chain to the hook, Pull firmly on the daisy chain, but without force, and attach it to the nearest loop. This will allow for a smooth and proper release. And with a little practice, you can even release the bottom hook with your foot. When adding gear to your slatter, you'll need to lock it in. Wrap the daisy chain around the hook. Go back to one of the loops on your daisy chain and pull the string, pull the daisy chain through. Pull tight to set it. Hook the nearest loop around the hook and pull tight to set it. This will prevent the daisy chain from sliding down when you add the weight of your gear. You can now add your gear hooks to your daisy chain. If you choose to use your gear loops in the front of the slatter, be sure to attach your gear hooks before you lock on the slatter. The only metal on the slatter is on the hooks. When you roll it up and then unroll it, you might hear this. So to avoid that noise in the woods, flip one side over so that it's crisscrossed in the middle. Then add, put, uh, fold the sides together Pull up the rungs, grab the two stirrups from one side, the two stirrups from the other side, any loose webbing, fold that over, then grab the daisy chain from each side and roll it up. Pull it nice and tight and you have a nice neat little package. 
when you unroll it, no metallic clinging.